Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So let's start our mini routine. Today is a restorative class of gin style, gin yoga style. You will need a um, bolster. If you don't have a bolster, what you can do is to roll a mat, a yoga mat, and cover with loads, loads, loads of blankets. So we wanted to make a softer but that doesn't sink when we bring the hips at the top. Because the idea of this one is that we keep the hips up so we can really release our lower back muscles, our hip muscles, our glutes. So that's why it's important the elevation of the hips with the bolster. So try to do it at home. And again, if you don't have it, just get you, you mat roll it in blankets. So let's start, okay? So we're gonna lie down. When you are lying down, we're going to lift the hips and we're going to move the bolster under your hips. Now here's really important that nothing is really um, uh, kind of make us uncomfortable in our neck or our head. Now the hips are resting on the bolster, make sure that you really feel comfy. And for the restorative yoga, you can stay alone in the poses. You can stay for one minute, two minutes, three minutes. It's always up to you. We're going to hold here only for seven breaths. So it will be a rough idea, um, only a minute for pose. So we're going to just lift our feet off the ground. We're going to let the arms rest. You will feel lovely releasing your lower back. We're going to take our breath. So we inhale through your nose. And if you want to excel through your mouth, just to concentrate this in the breath. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Well done. Now we're going to move our arms over the head and this time we're going to keep our breath inhaling to your nose, exhaling to your nose. So we're going to hold here for seven breaths. Let's go. Inhale deep and exhale. Let the lower back completely curve. Close your eyes, connect with your body. Let's go for five. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for four and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go to and exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Feels lovely in your lower back. This is amazing. Remember simple things to help us so much to our back and our spine. Now from here we're gonna open our knees and we're gonna just gently pull them close to us. Mm -hmm. And just give me your knees open, okay? You can close your eyes, keep your head just facing towards your face, facing towards the ceiling, and we just hold here for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for six. Use the exhalation to completely release the tension. Let's go five. Let the back curve. Exhale. Let's go for four. Exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now we're going to close the legs and we're going to extend the legs towards the ceiling. You can extend the legs fully, you keep them slightly bent, it doesn't really matter. You can keep your arms here on the bolster or you can move your arms overhead. Now sometimes the bolster starts to slide, so you just make sure that you just roll a little V and then put your bolster more under your hips. And we extend the legs, you can flex and point your feet if you need it, or you can keep it static, it's up to you. Now move your arms overhead if you feel comfy, and we're just going to hold here for seven breaths. Try to balance your right and your left side. Inhale for seven, and exhale. Let's go for six, and exhale. Let's go for five. 
and exhale. Let's go four. And exhale, close your eyes, completely relax. Let's go last two. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. We bend the legs. Now we're going to rest the hands on the right leg and drop the left foot on the ground. So we just keep one knee pulling close to us. And we just hold here for seven. Inhale. And exhale. Feel completely relaxed. Let's go for six. And exhale. Let's go for five. And exhale. Let's go for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. And let's go to exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Well done. Drop your foot onto the ground and we just go other leg. So again, catch your leg with the other foot on the floor and we just release here for four breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for six. Completely relax your face. Let's go five. And exhale. Let's go four. And exhale. Let's go three. And exhale. Let's go two. And feel lovely sensation in your back. Last one, everybody. Inhale. And exhale. As much as we hold the pose, we feel really the release in the hips, in the back. Drop your foot, everybody. So remember that you can make it longer or also you can repeat all the sequence. We extend our legs on the ground. We move our arms overhead as far as you feel comfy. Never force your body. Don't worry about flexibility. And let's start, stay here in back bend. Let's go for seven. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for six. Completely surrender your body to the stretch. Let's go five. And four. And three. Two. And just one more. Well done. We bend the legs. We're going to lift the feet and we're going to come back to child pose. Now you can raise your hands on your knees so it will help you to go a little bit more deeper. Again, the idea is to curve your spine to release the spine muscles and the back muscles. So let's hold here. Close your eyes. And again, we're just going to rest. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for seven. And exhale. Let's go for six. And feel how the back is curving more and more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Just one more. Release your arms. Extend the legs again. This is called reclining dandasana. And we're just going to hold the same. Remember that you can flex some point your feet. Give it some mobility to your ankles. That's fine. And bend your arms. You can open your arms just beside your shoulders or over your head or just resting here beside any position is comfy. Let's hold here for seven. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for six. And exhale. 
Let's go for five. And exhale. Let's go four. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Now bend your knees. We're going to go into happy baby pose. So we open the knees wider. Sole of the feet facing towards to the ceiling. Here, you can catch the back of your thighs, your ankles, or your feet. But try to don't push to catch your feet if, you, if your legs drop, if your feet drop like that. Make sure that your ankle remain above your hips. Now here, before we hold our seven breath, we're gonna lift the head just to increase the stretch. Pull your knees backwards, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Now we drop the head and we're just gonna hold here Letting gravity do the stretch. Don't force. We hold for seven. Inhale. Keep your tummy in. Try to don't pop out your tummy. Let's go for five more. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go four and exhale. Let's go three and exhale. Relax your face. Let's go two and exhale. And just one more and exhale. Well done. We move our knees together. We're going to drop one foot at a time on the ground. We're going to stay here on the bridge. This time, open your arms beside your shoulders. And we're going to hold. Inhale. And exhale. Seven. Let's go. Six. Five. Four and three two and just one more. Now here if it's possible, we move our arms backwards, hold your elbows with the opposite hand, lift the right leg. And we just hold the right leg up. This time, in this pose, we're going to hold only four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. As you can see in this type of stretches, we don't make efforts, but still we feel the release of the tension. Of course, we stretch our body so we are developing flex flexibility and mobility. Now change the arm, so the other arm at the top, lift the left leg. You can keep it bent, doesn't matter. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for the three. And exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. Just one more. And exhale. We bend the leg. Well done. And then we're going to lift our feet. And we're going to back to happy baby pose. So, sole of the feet facing upwards, heels above your knees, catch your feet, and we just relax here, pulling your knees. Before I start, lift the head, take a breath, inhale, and exhale. Now drop your knees, and we just hold here for seven, and exhale. Let's go for six. And exhale. 
Let's go for five. On exhale. Let's go four. On exhale. Let's go three. On exhale. Two. And just one more. Release, move your knees together, drop the feet onto the ground. You can go one at a time. Extend your legs, move your arms overhead, and we're just going to hold here again in this back extension. Remember that always you can move your arms in any position is good for you. It doesn't have to be always overhead. If your elbows, your arms cannot go, or you feel a pressure in your um, shoulders, just open them beside your body. Let's hold here for seven. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for six, five, four, three, and two. And just one more. And we bend the legs, move your arms beside your body, we lift our feet, we go child pose, the legs, child pose. Hug the legs, rest your arms on your legs, close your eyes, and we hold for seven. And exhale. Let's go for six. And exhale. Five, and exhale, four, and exhale, three, and two, just one more. Release everybody, drop one foot onto the ground, lift your pelvis, release your bolster, drop your hips, lift your feet, take again the child pose. How do you feel? Feels great. Remember, we just need a few minutes every day to release the tension in our muscles, maintain our mobility by stretching our muscles as well as strengthening. But the most important is that we don't Miss one day of mobilize our body. Now, everybody, if you have time, you can come back to the chapter. Just click below, it's making a chapter, so you can come back to the beginning, beginning of the routine. If you, it's your time to go, we're going to move our hands under the knees, lift the head off the ground, and we're rocking backward and forward to come into the sitting pose. So we're going to say goodbye with our last three breaths that we always do in my classes. Hands pray position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale through your mouth, arms down. Inhale. And exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Hands back pray position. And we say Namaste. Thank you for joining us, for joining me. And remember that you can find us in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. Remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment. And I hope you feel really good after this routine. You can find us in sacredbodystudio.ie to find our teaching courses and other workshops. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.